Hi, this is Jason Reynolds, author and narrator of the audiobook Long Way Down. Two things inspired the story. One, I spend a lot of time in juvenile detention centers. And when you spend time in juvies and you talk to the young people who are locked away, and by the way, there are thousands of kids locked in maximum security juvenile detention centers who are serving 10-year sentences at 14 years old. Many people don't know that that's even a thing in America. <laughs> And when you talk to them, you find out that a lot of them are there because of a beef, gang beefs that have gone on and have gone back and forth for years, right? Gang beefs that now exist within a vacuum and sort of spin on their own axes. And most of the kids have no idea where these beefs began. They're just carrying out the orders based on the rules. And so I met some young people over in California a long time ago. And a lot of them were in jail because of this sort of rival gang situation, this rivalry. But what I found out is that the rivalry began in the 1960s over a pair of shoes in jail. And these kids are still shooting each other, going back and forth, retaliating and retaliating and retaliating with no idea what the root of the issue is. And it's just heartbreaking to think about it that way. The other thing that spawned the story, though, is because I lost a friend. I mean, I lost a lot of friends, but one particular buddy of mine, Randell, I lost, I think I was 19, And in that moment, I realized that all of the bad things, all of the things that we say we would never do, the morals and the ethics that we all swear to stand on, when those morals are challenged, you get to see how human you really are. And I knew at that point in my life, in that moment, that I could really do some damage to a human being, that I could potentially take a life myself in retaliation because of how painful it was to lose a friend in the way that I lost him. And so I wanted to make sure that I honored the story of pain and the story of trauma and to say that I understand what it's like to feel like that moment is going to last forever, that time suspends itself. And I think there are too many people, unfortunately, who gets to look through the fishbowl and gets to pass judgment as voyeurs of people living in these situations and these circumstances without understanding the ecosystem that exists within certain neighborhoods.